All right, folks, so we're out here at Hank of uh, Sod again uh, on our test plot. Uh, we're actually getting the, um, the app, some more APSA 80, uh, some more NutriPlant AG, and some NutriPlant SL uh, sprayed out. And uh, we've got basically a little, um, a little spray trailer with um, a, uh, I guess that's a four foot, no, eight foot, uh, boom on it sprayers and uh, to, to get this stuff sprayed out just makes it a little easier now it's not something that you have to do but it, it does make things easier but anyway um, but just to kind of show you I'm going to switch the camera around and so basically what our goal is is you see here between um, between these ribbons of St. Augustine, um, our goal is to get this to fill in as quickly as possible. Um, and the the uh, the NutriPlant AG and the SL is going to help with that. Of course, the APSA is going to help with the compaction um, and also just the moisture retention. Uh, so they did have rain here last night that's the reason um, yesterday we took compaction readings with our um, uh, with with our uh, com compaction measuring tool um, and uh, so uh, it um, basically in our test area it showed to be uh, it, it was not over uh, 300 psi, which that's the that's the key thing. If 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 the soil compaction is at 300 psi or or more, then then the roots actually can't get down uh, into the ground the way that they should. Uh, as far as uh, being able to actually uh, have deeper roots and also being able to get the micronutrients and so forth from further down in the soil. Uh, so by breaking up that soil compaction, uh, then you're going to be able to have uh, whatever plant it is, whether it's uh, turf grass or whether it's uh, corn or whatever, then you want those roots to be able to get down further into the ground. So, uh, and then also because uh, you're breaking up that compaction and the APSA 80 is doing its job of being able to retain moisture into the soil. Now we're not talking muddy, we're just talking uh, it being able to hold on to moisture, uh, even say in a drought situation, you want it to be able to hold on to as much moisture as, as possible. Uh, they're not in a drought situation yet, but um, but not far from it. Um, and they've already uh, they've already started allocating water and that kind of thing. So um, so it's it's going to be a, a thing for them. Um, but anyway, uh, so we're gonna. We're putting the APSA 80 out in order to keep the moisture in the soil. Uh, whenever we did the PSI test here within our within our test plot, um, then it was uh, maximum at 210 psi. So we actually dropped that psi down uh, so that that way uh, from, by using the APSA 80, uh, so that the roots can penetrate and get the moisture that they need. Outside of our test plot, um, on the on the rest of the uh, area around it, uh, the PSI, uh, we were only able to penetrate um, about an inch and a half to two inches down uh, with our with our probe and um, and the PSI uh, at only that depth was um, at 300 PSI and, and more. Uh, so APSA 80 definitely proved it's uh, doing its job. And I'll actually put a, a link in the description so that that way uh, you can watch that video where we were doing the, the probe uh, to see the PSI. So, uh, and some of you may have, may have already seen that. So. Uh, but anyway, uh, we're getting NutriPlant AG uh, out so that that way um, the, uh, the grass is able to get the micronutrients that it needs. We're putting the, the NutriPlant SL out in order to stimulate the roots. The roots on the, on the St. Augustine, we get one of these little runners here. Uh, 
All right. So we want those roots to be stimulated. And of course, whenever they harvest uh, this turf grass, there are some roots that are left over in the soil. And so we want those roots to be stimulated. You can kind of see some of the roots right here. Uh, and so we want those roots to be stimulated uh, to grow also. And they actually count on that. Um, and so that's what that NutriPlant SL is going to do. It's going to help with that root stimulation. And uh, so the goal is to be able to get our test plot to grow um, at least a little bit faster than what the um, than what the the rest of the of the grass around. Uh, is able to grow and of course now off in the distance you'll see some areas like out there uh, they haven't harvested that St. Augustine yet so that's the reason that it looks like something's growing faster than than the test plot but that's because we asked for a test plot that they had already harvested so that that way we could see it go from from growth stage um, you know from the very beginning uh, to final product uh, and we will be uh, coming to this test plot about every two weeks and so you can expect uh, videos from now on um, about every two weeks as far as on this particular test plot as we have other tests going uh, we will keep you informed of that uh, but uh, anyway so just keep checking back on the channel and I'll be sure and post more videos for you to see but that's what we're doing uh, basically on the just so that you know what the different rates are on the NutriPlant AG we're doing uh, 15 ounces to 16 ounces per acre uh, and we do have a one acre test plot here and then on the uh, on the APSA 80 we're actually doing um, a uh, 30 ounce per acre rate on the very first um, on the very first application and then um, on the second application we're doing 15 ounces per acre um, and then on the NutriPlant SL uh, we are doing uh, two ounces uh, per acre so uh, very efficient uh, chemicals and uh, they they're gonna I know that we're gonna see a result of course the APSA 80 if you'll if you'll look for that link in the description below and, and watch that you'll see that that that's a result that we that uh, we got very quickly from the apps at 80 so uh, anyway uh, stay tuned for more we and uh, thanks for watching